Welcome GibbsCam users. Today we're going to show you two more enhancements in the version 2022. This one is Deber multiple cuts. Uh, now this can be done in three axis, four axis, or five axis. We're going to show you uh, three axis and five axis. This is going to be using a lollipop because that works really good for deburring. And so what we want to do is we want to deburr these two edges over here. So the first one have my process here bring up your five axis process with the tool surface path I'm going to click on deburr and the part surfaces so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on that surface and this surface click OK and user defined and user defined edges so I'm going to click on here we're going to do this backside edge first so I'm going to click on edge selection select this edge click OK now over here we have constant width or of course constant depth. I'm just going to choose constant width. I'm going to say 20 thou. I'm going to climb cut and I'm going to change this. You can see you could have rounded. You can see how that rounds it or flat and I'm going to have flat. So I'm going to choose flat. I'm going to take four cuts on there. So we're going to just redo that and let's run the rendering. We'll just show you that tool path first. So this is three axis. You can see the tool is staying vertical. And as you can see, it's a flat chamfer on there. Okay, so the next side I want to do, I want to do the same thing, but we're going to do rounded corners instead so I'm going to bring up this process again again I'm in uh, three axis this time I'm going to choose rounded corners same thing here but we're going to do rounded corners I'm just going to redo that tool path for this side actually we want to choose the other side sorry I'm going to do this side okay Okay, let's run the rendering on that one. So if I zoom this up, you're going to see it's a rounded edge there. So it works very well. Now let's do it in 5 axis. So I'm going to do the same thing, but this time in 5 axis. So I'm going to bring this one up, but in tool axis control, I'm going to change to five axis. And we're going to do this uh, edge first, and then the opposite edge, same thing, five axis, but this time we're going to do it as rounded. So let me run the square one first. So you can see that's done in five axis, and of course, you can change the tilt angle however you want to approach and cut this. Okay, that's the uh, square. Last one. Rounded. Rounded corners. So this is the deburr multiple cuts. That is enhancement number 11. So this is the 12th enhancement, move start endpoints. So here's the part I want to cut. I just want to take a single cut right down through this edge here. I'm going to use the profiler or you could extract geometry. And of course with the profiler you can drag up or down the part wherever you'd like and it'll slice it. This is where I want to uh, cut. I'm going to open up my process. I'm just using an inch and a quarter end mill, three quarter inch deep. Of course, put in your RPM and feed rates, entry and exit, everything you'd like there. I'm going to click on the geometry there from the profiler. I'm going to drag my start point off the part here and my black one off the part here. This is the start point, the end point. Now, if I don't do anything, here it's going to go clear around the part. I just want to do a single feature cut, so I'm just going to right-click on here, click.
click on single feature cut that's only going to cut this line here even though the geometry goes clear around the part now the new enhancement is move start endpoint so you can see you can do it by relative or absolute relative is going to be from the uh, edge of the geometry there out and same with the endpoint there so let's just go relative I want to say I want to move it one inch past the start point and one inch past the end point there. Of course you could change this to absolute as well so you can see the absolute is four inches because it's three inches from the center out to the edge so that would be four inches and the Y of course minus one. So you can change that how you want to do it. Let's just click on do it and there's my tool path. Let's run the cut part render and there's my part. So very nice enhancement on here. Move start endpoints works on mill and lathe, and you can change these however you want and have more control over that. Thanks for watching.